Yo, what is up, you guys? My name is Benji, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you're ready for some new all-time highs like I am, make sure to please drop a like on the video. All right, guys, we have quite a bit to go over. First of all, we have some breaking news, a tweet from Unusual Whales. During the congressional hearing, Citadel CEO Ken Griffin was asked if he spoke with Vlad from Robin Hood. He said he did not. This was a lie with new leaked documents from Robin Hood. It's kind of blurry, but it says just an FYI that Dan and I are joining Jim at 5 p.m. on a call with Citadel. They reached out and went to speak this evening, and we believe they will make SEME demands on limiting payment for flow across the board. We won't agree to anything, but wanted to give you a heads up. Vlad then said, okay. Vlad also said, maybe this would be a good time for me to chat with King Griffin. And then Vlad said, you guys can mention that. I've never met him. Shortly, therefore, in an internal chat, Senior Director of Clearing Operations at Robinhood tells Swartzwert anecdotal evidence that several very large firms are having really bad nights too. So now with this new leaked information, I wonder if the SEC or Gary Gensler will look into this and ask some more questions. Obviously, when you're in a congressional hearing swearing under oath, this can definitely be problematic if there was lying that was taking place and if we can prove so. And there's even more released court documents of the Robin Hood executives talking during their market manipulation in January. So in fact, it does look like there was more communication than obviously was talked about. When Kevin Griffin was asked during that hearing, he specifically said that he had not talked to anyone. So there's going to need to be some answers to some of this. And next, never forget, they are all guilty, all of them. They all decided to stop you from purchasing a stock they were short on. That's it and a story. This is referring to the whole Robin Hood and other brokerages that stopped the purchasing of GME, AMC, Nokia, and a bunch of other highly, highly short stocks. You made a trade of a lifetime and the free market, quote unquote, became not so free. The money is yours, folks. All of it, the unimaginable wealth. Yes, this is all yours. They just aren't willing to let it go. The shorts have still not covered their positions. They think that the AMC retail community is going to give up. I don't know what they don't get though. If the AMC retail community has not given up at this point and only continue to buy more and more shares, the hedges are in for a rude awakening in the future. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.